Hi, this is Barry Lewis along with Mike Brown and welcome to our look ahead at week four of the high school football season. And finally, we're ready for the games that really count as most teams begin their district schedules this week. And Mike, there are some interesting matchups in 6A and you're going to be seeing one of them on Friday night as Booker T. Washington hosts the surprising Sand Spring Sandites. Yeah, I don't know if anybody thought that that would be one of the biggest games of the week three three weeks ago when the when the season started. But Sand Springs uh, has, uh, for, I believe, three and zero for the first time since 1997, and and uh, beat uh, arch rival Sepulpa. Booker T will be wanting to bounce back from the East Central game, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, what'd you think of Sand Springs last week? Uh, the very impressive. Uh, I thought that they had a chance to win, but, but when you win by a 28 to 14 margin, and, and you know those games have been extremely close and and well, um, you know, hard fought the last the last three or four years. So uh, 28 to 14 was was impressive on the road in that context. I would say uh, moving right down the scale, there are some um, there there's a big game in 4A. Well, there's a big game in 4A as Wagner visits Catusa. Wagner, the defending state champions, goes to the scene of their only loss of last season as they'll have revenge on their minds at Catoosa. Catoosa's surprising in another direction. They are only one and two. I expected a little bit better start for Catoosa, although they've faced some tough competition the last two weeks in surprising Collinsville and Fort Gibson. But uh, I'll expect Wagner will probably prevail this week. They bounced back from a tough loss to Coweta in the season opener to win the last two weeks. In keeping with our theme of defending state champions trying to avenge their only loss of last year at the scene of last year's loss, in 6A, Union will be hosting Owasso. Who can forget last year's game where Owasso ended Union's 94-game district winning streak with a dramatic 41-38 victory in the last seconds at Union. Uh, I expect that Union will probably not lose to Union twice in a row, but you never know what's going to happen in high school football, do you, Mike? You just never know. Uh, I saw that game, and remember, Union was ahead in that game 21 to nothing and lost Hunter Ataya and about uh, at least two, if not three, running backs to injuries, and uh, nobody could have anticipated that when the game started. And they also lost Chris Hall who has had two outstanding games in a row, the fine receiver for Union, who's a University of Tulsa commit. And then, Mike, what 5A games intrigue you? Uh, well, right off the top, the in, in District 5A4, uh, Claremore plays at Collinsville, a couple of uh, towns that aren't separated by much mileage, and both are 3-0, uh, and o, undefeated. Uh, Col uh, Claremore for the first time since 1995, so that's... You know, one of those teams will get the uh, district off on the right foot. And also, um, uh, interesting games, Central against East Central. Last year, the teams went into overtime. I don't expect that will happen this year, but this may be a little bit more interesting than your typical 3-0 and versus 0-3 matchup could is usually is. So uh, that might be my sleeper game of the week, Central at East Central. And, Mike, any... Thoughts about last week's action? Um, well, obviously the uh, Union Broken Era game was uh, extremely interesting. Uh, Union appeared to get back on track a little bit. Uh, Broken Era, as I said to somebody at the end of the game, might be the, the best one and two uh, class 6A team. Uh, and I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, so uh, um, again, um, we've talked about Sand Springs. Um, yeah, an interesting week. Yes, and last week's big surprise for me was Victory Christian mm -hmm. overcoming a 27-0 deficit in the last 10 minutes to defeat Talcott Sequoia 35-34. For Mike Brown, this is Barry Lewis. Join us again next week as we analyze high school football.